welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome to my channel life as danny i'm super excited to have you here today hopefully you decide to stick around and subscribe i am doing yet another kind of full face of new makeup that i recently purchased there's still some things i haven't used so i'm just like i'm gonna do another get ready with me and hopefully hopefully it's okay so here are some items that I have not used um, and again we probably can't use everything again but um, I'll try my best. So these Too Faced palettes, the Pop Tart palettes, I still haven't um, been able to use them so hopefully we can use them today if not both just one. Um, I still have not used my House Labs blush so we're going to use her today. Um, and I have not used my makeup by Mario, um, soft pop plumping blush veil. That's like, it's kind of hard for me to say soft pop plumping blush veil. Oh, there we go. In the shade perfect pink. So I'm thinking these two can pair well together. You guys, I have too much blush. Actually, I don't think I'm going to be using those blushes today want to know why because my new chanel blush came in the mail and i really want to use it but i'm like i used it in the last video would i be boring if i used this one again this is the one that i was waiting for so let's do um let's show you a side by side here they are side by side they are so stunning. I'm so happy to have both of them because they are limited edition and they're just so beautiful. Like, so happy that I got my hands on both of them. I used this one in my last video, so I'm very tempted to use this one. But it, um, also, I really want to use these. So, I don't know. I don't know. I, I probably will just use those because they will pair well together. This one is like mauve pink and this one is a bright pink. So I think they'll look good together. But yes, obsessed with these Chanel blushes. I love the formula and they're just so pretty. Um, I still have to use my new Chanel foundation. So we're gonna have to go ahead and do that. A concealer, I think I can use, I think I wanna use both of these cause I did wanna kind of like see the two together and kind of compare. There's no really comparing the two cause they are very different. This one is, um, thicker in consistency and this one's more lightweight but i could do one on one eye and the other on the other eye so i guess we can do that i'm also just going to use my new bronzer from shantakai uh, i used this in the last video but i'm gonna go ahead and use it again stunning stunning bronzer so ignore the blankets in the back i don't care to make my bed and pretend that my life is perfect and pretend that I didn't just get out of the bed like 30 minutes ago because yeah let's go ahead and get started I'm going to be using the MAC skin canvas balm so far I've been enjoying this so what I do when I have long nails I kind of just keep the, the film on and I just grab from there otherwise I have to dig like my knuckle in there and it kind of just gets messy I'm going to let this sink into my skin for a little bit. While doing so, I'm going to do my brows and sip on my coffee. And then I'll be back to start foundation and primer. Or primer and foundation. Let's go ahead and use my Hydro Grip Primer. Love, love, love this stuff. Let's go ahead and apply the foundation. This is the Chanel Les Beige. I think that's how you say it. Healthy Glow Foundation and I'm in the shade BD41. Perfect shade match. Um, here is what the bottle looks like. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I'm going to go ahead and just squirt it on the back of my hand. This is a very watery and thin foundation it also smells so good like stop 
smells so bomb. I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out with a beauty blender. This foundation is so pretty. I'm loving it. It looks so good. Love it. I'm going to go ahead and take this Juvia's Place Cream Bronzer in the shade Caramel. It's a new bronzer and I really like it. A little bit does go a long way. So we're just going to go in very lightly. I'm using the Buffing Bronzer brush from Anissa Beauty. Love these brushes. Good quality and pretty affordable to be honest. Let's move on to the Shantikai Bronzer in the shade Goa. Let's go ahead and apply it. I'm going to be applying it with my Sonia G Worker Fan. So much happening outside, like, let's just be quiet for a minute. <laughs> um, In this bronzer, there are, like, some shimmers, so it's not a matte bronzer. It just makes your skin look so healthy. This gives off that, like, soft sun-kissed tan so pretty like it just adds on to the glow i'm gonna move on to the makeup by mario a soft pop plumping um blush veil since i am new to this formula i think i'm gonna do a sponge on one side and then a brush on the other and we'll just see how that goes i feel like these are gonna blend out to be very sheer so I will go heavy handed with these. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna um, dip into it some more. I'm not gonna be scared to apply a lot. Cute. Add some to the bridge of my nose. gives off like this wet look super pretty okay um now we can go in with the house lab and this is in the shade dragon fruit days gorgeous gorgeous component i feel like yeah, it is going to get very dirty with like fingerprints and stuff, but it's still stunning. And oh, yes. Girl, don't play with it. I'm kind of scared. In my opinion, they paired very well together. So happy about that, that I got to use both of them. Let's move on to concealer. So I'm going to use the House Labs on my right side, your left. And then I'm going to use the Gucci concealer on my left side, your right. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend it out with a concealer brush. This is the BK Beauty A506. This is the... Angie Hot and Flashy collab. And I'm in the shade 11 Light Neutral in the House Labs. Um, I did already try this out um, on my other video. I really, really like it. It's a really good concealer. And it's a creaseless concealer. Definitely, definitely is creaseless. Like, I 
experience no creasing whatsoever when I used this. Also with the Gucci one too, like very, very minimal creasing, like truthfully. With the powder, I like to tap off the excess so it's not super thick under the eyes or drying. It's just a nice thin layer. And I'm going to go ahead and apply the Gucci concealer to my left side. This one is very, very different. Super, super lightweight. Um, but I just like them both. go ahead and wipe the powder away and then I'm gonna move on to my Dior highlighter this is the Dior skin nude luminizer in 01 <clears throat> and this is what the highlighter looks like So I'm going to go ahead and spray it with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Go ahead and start off with the Brown Sugar Cinnamon Too Faced Palette. I'm going to be taking a like big fluffy brush. I'm going to start with the color in my feelings right over here. There's a lot of kickback. Okay. Put that all over. Typical like Too Faced scent on this palette. It doesn't smell like a pop tart or anything. It just smells like the typical like cocoa powder. I'm gonna take spread the love right down here, and I'm gonna mix it. Mix it with big toaster energy right here. So I'm gonna just mix the two together. With this brush, I'm going to be taking brown sugar cinnamon, which is this really pretty gold shimmer right here. I just go ahead and apply. There is a lot of fallout. Going into the shade Bite Me. And just keeping that shadow close to my, in my inner corner. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye off camera and then I'll be back to share the finished look. Whoa. Okay, beauties, here is the completed look. I'm not going to put on any mascara. I just really like the natural look without mascara. But I'm loving how my skin is looking and feeling. It looks super healthy and hydrated and glowy. And yeah, I wanted to share a few of my favorite products from today's video. I am really, really enjoying this House Labs concealer. It is that girl. If you're thinking about getting either the Gucci or the House Labs, I would definitely, definitely settle on the House Labs. Also, really loved the Chanel foundation. It is so, so pretty. Um... My skin looked super gorgeous after using, still looks super gorgeous. I do not feel the need to powder because it would take away from the beauty, let's be honest. Such a pretty foundation. Definitely, definitely love it. And the shade match, I did that, girl. I didn't need no help. No. Um, but yeah, the shade match is perfect and the formulation is so beautiful. And I really, are we surprised? I really enjoyed the House Labs um, blush. Hello, are we surprised? I don't think we are. I love blush. Such a nice formula. It looks super vibrant and scary in the pan, but once you apply and blend out, it becomes super wearable and subtle. 
as you can tell um, and I love the packaging so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you aren't subscribed already I would love for you to stick around and subscribe join the fam become a brat baby and I will see you beauties in my next video bye